when it comes to designing PO apps, you want to pay attention to a few things. Um, and that is content and issuance. And if we look at the, we're gonna use the United States dollar as a example, uh, because it is a token we are all familiar with. Bam, greenbacks, dollars, right here, here's one. Um, so if the US dollar was a PO app, there'd be two important parts to us, right? The content and the issuance. When we say content, we mean like a $1 bill versus a $5 bill versus a $100 bill. Like what, what, what does this represent, right? This represents $1. And that's different than a bill that represents $5 or a bill that represents $10, right? The content of this token is one. And there's other tokens out there whose content is like five or 10 or 100 or 50, right? This one's a one. Um, but a lot of people can just put a one on a sheet of paper, right? And it doesn't necessarily mean it's valuable at all. So what's actually valuable here is not just the one, but then the issuance. Who gave it out and what did you need to do to get it from them, right? Uh, the issuance here is quite important. This was issued by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York or Chicago or, you know, there's a bunch of them. Um, if you have dollars that did not come from the Federal Reserve Bank, I do not want your dollars. If you have dollars that do come from the Federal Reserve Bank, those dollars are actually useful to me. So it matters what it is that you got, and it also matters who gave it to you and under what circumstance did they give it to you. Those two things, by far, are going to determine the value that a community places on any token, just like a PO app. So let's break those things down um, and talk about when people do them really, really well um, and perhaps when they don't do it super well.